everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie's Revenge. In the last episode, we finished up Chapter 4, Grave Danger, by restoring all the tombstones. We also found out that Sally must be in the crypt. Anyway, as you can see, I redid the chapter and unlocked the Hanging Tree Trophy. So, without further ado, let's continue on to the next chapter. Chapter 5, The Crypt Creeper. Yay! Creeper reminds me of the creeper from Scooby-Doo. Ugh. Anyway, guys, how have you been? Luckily, I've managed to fix some of the YouTube upload thing. It's the new upload. The little thing that they were experimenting with. When I went to the older design, it seemed to work just fine. So, I'm already uploading the second episode for the day. Ugh. Anyway... One of the main things that I'm trying to do is I really want to get more publicity, so I posted, I joined Game, Game Anyone, so, and I posted the playlist on there. Ooh, what's this? Jack, hurry back to town. After you left, Lock, Shock, and Barrow brought Oogie back to life. All the skeletons and ghosts that are probably attacking you were made by Dr. Finkelstein, and are being controlled by Oogie. These Oogie monsters were specifically made to attack you and will stop at nothing to track you down. That's not good. And I just remembered I forgot something else inside Halloween Town. Anyway, I got some upgrades, actually. And you'll see them coming up, I guarantee. Anyway, I joined Game anyone and posted the playlist on there because if you guys could really help out that'd be great and of course why do you always have to spoil our fun? Your fun sucks this is the last time you'll get in our way something's telling me it won't be Ooh, fences they're never good now this battle is a bit different than the first one. As you can see, Locke has a health bar. And, as you saw from that combo right there, I actually upgraded the Soul Robber. I got the Soul Robber level 2. Now, the thing to do with Locke is he will get his plunger stuck in the ground. Another good thing to do is to throw enemies at him, but this is another complaint I have about the game. Targeting in this game is not the best. Okay, get the plunger stuck in the ground, and continue. Okay, and if you try to hit him normally, he will just uh, dodge the soul robber, which gets annoying, to say the least. Okay, and he tries again, and fails. Okay, but the lower he gets down in health, he gets um, more powerful enemies to attack him. Enemies will infinitely spawn until you beat Locke. So... I guess you can use it to farm combos, but it's not recommended, really. Okay, come on. There we go. As you can see, it's a pretty simple battle, actually, once you know the timing and everything. I wish I hadn't gotten hit, actually, but... Okay, come on. Oh, you tripped. Come on. Oh, I managed to hit him while he was in the air. Nice. As you can see, he's summoned the really powerful enemies now, but he's also almost been defeated. Okay, and this might do it. Two, there we go. And that's Locke. Pretty easy, if you ask me. Look at the stars. As you can see, something seemed to have unlocked. You win this time, Jack. There won't be a next time. Of course not, Jack. Whatever you say. Little liar. Ugh. Anyway. So let's continue on over this way. It sounded like something unlocked over in the crypt. Anyway, let's head on in. Whew. This is kind of... I'm feeling a lot better today. Things seem to be going good. Now, watch out for spiders and don't even try to attack anything in here. I know the spiders have health. It's annoying, though, to try and hit them. And you're just going to end up getting hit by the spiders. Just go over in this way. Graveyard. Bury you chamber.
Sally. Yeah. Heartfelt reunion. Sally. Yeah. Oh wow, I dropped a lot of frames right there. That's not good. Uh oh. That's not good. What's this? It's an arachnophobic's worst nightmare. A giant spider. Arachnophobics out there, I apologize. But don't worry, we will squish the spider. And we are thrown in to another boss battle with music. Whoop. Watch out for the shockwave right there. It'll end up attacking. Now, having the upgraded soul robber for this is really good. Why? Because of the scythe move, and it can go across many of the spiders to get you a lot of the notes. So it's really effective to have it. It only costs 3000 and I recommend getting it. As you can see though, I don't know if you saw, but I had about over 8000 Okay, whoop. Attack you again. It's a pretty simple battle, I have to say. Okay, let's attack over this way because there's more spiders. And with the scythe, it has such a large reach that it really is effective to use a lot. Okay. Now let's... Oh, we've almost got enough notes. We only need probably about three or four more. Are you going to come over here, buddy? Ah. I'll charge into the wall. Just attack him in the back and I completely missed. Nice. Whoa. That was close. Nope. You can't attack him from the front. So don't attract... Don't try... Uh oh. Ah, crud. Luckily, this. Um. The shockwave attack from this spider. What is he doing? I took a lot of damage there. No, I wanted to get a good damage. There we go. As you can see, the quick time events have gotten a lot more difficult compared to the fight against Shadow Oogie. Oh wow. I almost messed up right there. Is he dancing? Spider, why are you dancing? Spider, I don't recommend dancing. This kind of will hurt you. As you can see, we unlocked a different type of combo, Pumpkin King. That is the highest combo that you can get. Okay, that was effective, as you can see. Also, you can really tell that Sally's voice is not the same voice actor. That's a lot of notes that we got. Okay, and there we go. Now, you might notice something different about the spider. It's smaller. Still pretty large, but it's smaller. You're not going to hit me from that far, buddy. Come over this way. I don't know what he's doing. Come on. Ha. There we go. But, of course, I wasn't close enough. It's a bit easier to get behind him now. So, let's attack you. And let's continue. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. I would sing along, but I have the voice of a deaf person. Oh no, not a deaf person. That's kind of mean. Let's just say my voice brings angels to the ground. It causes them to lose their wings once they hear it. It's, it's terrible. I'll just leave it at that. Yay! So many exclamation marks, and I am somewhat almost screwing up on these. Ah, oh, I screwed up. I think this will still pretty much kill it. As you can see, all his health is gone. Now he's just a tiny spider. Kill it. And there we have it. He's dead, Jim. I did decent on damage. Magical spider webs. 
as she nonchalantly floats down. I don't know why I dropped so many frames there. Oh, what's this? Happy Valentine's Day, or as I like to call it, Single Awareness Day. Valentine's Day door. How appropriate. Are you all right, Sally? Oh, Jack, you came back. I got your note. You have to rescue Dr. Finkelstein. This key opens the gate to his manor. That looks like a Thanks, sparkle, Sally. not a key. I'm glad you're safe. We're all safe. Now that our Pumpkin King has returned. Pumpkin King? Sally, that's it! What's it? I am the Pumpkin King, and I can use my pumpkin fire to fight Oogie and his army. You just forgot thank that you were the Sally. Pumpkin King, Jack? Thank you, Jack. No, thank you, Sally. Why did he forget he was the Pumpkin King? For the east gate of the plaza to Dr. Finkelstein's lab. It's a pretty cool looking key. A holiday door that must be returned to its holiday tree. And there we have it. That's the Crypt Keeper, guys. I again apologize if you are arachnophobics. But hey, at least I killed it. Clear Not bad on time. Combo. Yay, I actually only got hit four times. Exclamation marks count. Now, Nightmare. I'm actually going back and doing these chapters and getting S's on all of them. And that'll come into play way later into the game. And I'll just leave it at that. As you can see, we have 9,000 souls. Ooh, you can actually purchase. If I get... Ooh. And I, like I told you guys, I'd eventually get it. You've collected the figure of Pumpkin King Jack. I love the Pumpkin King. You'll see why in the next chapter. Anyway, guys. Oh, we also unlocked the lock figure. I always forget that this one has two. Anyway, guys. I'll end it off right here. Next time, let's play The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oogie's Revenge. I'm gonna head off to try and see if we can stop Dr. Finkelstein from making Oogie's monsters. This has been Roxas1359, and he hopes that the frame drop didn't get rid of like a second. See you guys next time.